Welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Sophie. Today is April 11th. On this day, 1968, President Lyndon Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act. This act primarily focused on housing discrimination based on race and religion and was later expanded to include provisions for people with disabilities. Now for news. Our top story today, Mount Juliet High School Golden Bears John Mark and Keegan Miller had a big day last Friday. John Mark and Keegan went to Memphis to complete the long process of officially becoming citizens of the United States. There's definitely more to tell in this story and BNN is working on that. Congratulations, guys. Young Democrats and young Republicans held a debate yesterday in the Media Center. Students, parents, and staff attended. Ms. Holloway moderated the event asking questions about immigration, refugees, economic health care policies, ed and education. The Young Democrats team consisted of Club President Jacob Wood, Youth and Government Standout Stella London, Jimmy Hayes, and Ethan Roberts. Club President Colt Meads, Maria Williams, Patrick Holderby, and Mason and Drager represented Young Republicans. The club sponsors agreed that the students did a good job and are looking forward to more debates and forums in the future. We have another edition of Where Is It Wednesday? Here's a photo taken somewhere in the school. Can you guess what it is and where it is? We'll tell you in 15 seconds. Here's an MJ staff member to tell you where it is and even what it is. That is Dr. Dish. It is a basketball shooting machine. Yeah, we got it last Friday. Well, it passes the ball where you don't have to have a rebounder, so you can shoot by yourself or you can shoot with a group of players. There's different programs. It'll pass to different levels. It'll pass um, to different spots on the floor. Uh, it's a pretty neat deal. Uh, they love it, especially the ones that like to work. Um, it, they're able to shoot by themselves, which is a which is a big deal. Where, where you don't have to rebound. You can probably get up ten times the shots you could if you didn't have the machine by yourself. The baseball team defeated Gallatin yesterday, nine to four. The Golden Bears were down four to three in the top of the fifth inning when Eric Rice singled on a one to zero count, scoring two runs. MJ had eleven hits in the game. Casper, Hoppy, Dyer, and Rice all managed multiple hits. Mount Julie is now 14-1, 7-0 in the district, and we play Gallatin tomorrow, JV at 4, and Varsity at 7. The tennis team also won yesterday with both the boys and the girls going 7-0. Congrats to the tennis team. This week is National Library Week, and MJ's Media Center is in the last round of the Tournament of Books. If we have reached 400 votes, the Media Center will forgive all the late fines. Teachers, please do what you can to get students to vote, especially view computers in your room. Voting closes tomorrow and the prizes for the lucky voters and our bracket challenge winners will be awarded on Friday. April is National Poetry Month. To celebrate, Ms. Wright's creative writing class is sharing some of their favorite poems with us. Here's Ethan Post. It was light and lustrous and somehow luckless. The hair I cut from the head of my father-in-law. It was pepper blanched and wind scuffed, thin as a brown bulb's filament. It stuck to the teeth of my clippers like a dark language. The static covering his mind stuck to my fingers. It mingled in half-hearted tufts with the dust. Because every barber's got a gift with, for mind reading in his touch, I could hear what he would not say. He'd swore to never let his hair be cut again after his daughter passed away. I told him how my own boy, his grandchild, weeps when my clippers bite behind his ear. But I could not say how the blood there tastes. I almost showed him how I bow my own head to the razor in my hands, how a mirror is used to taper the nape. Science and religion come to the same conclusion. Someday all the hair on the body will fall away. I'm certain he will only call on me for a few more years. The crown of his head is already smoother than any part of his face. It shines like the light in tiny bulbs of sweat before the sweat, sweat evaporates. Don't forget, a FBLA Spirit Night is tonight at Buffalo Wild Wings. Show up, eat something, and a portion of the proceeds will go to MJ's FBLA chapter. That's not the only event coming up. Here's what else is happening at MJ in the next few days.
all for your news today. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Sophie. And here at WBNN Channel 9 News, we are in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a great, great day, MJ. MJ.